Hello, my name is Kayla, and I'm going to show you why and how to create a system to manage your budget for a construction project. Surprise! Excel Sheets. You can't talk about budgeting without a little dibble dabble in the Excel Sheet world. I'm using Excel because it's something that's accessible to me and something that I know how to use. Now, it is important to have a budget, and for the main reason is so that you can track cost. Managing a budget helps you keep control of your project financially. You get to compare actual costs compared to the estimated cost, and you get to recognize when you're in the danger zone. <laughs> Depending on the project, you can also track profit. All in all, this is here to help you save time. No more thinking of where it went, how it could have been allocated, and why you don't have any money. Another way that a budget is good for you in a project is for communication. Often when you're working with others, they want to know where did things go? How are they allocated? It's good for subcontractors if you're working with them to know where they're supposed to stay within the lines and according to the budget that you handed them. Before creating an Excel sheet, it's important to know what do you want to track in the first place? There is a lot that you could track, but this is what I have for you right now. You have the project that you're working on, the labor, and then within the scope of the labor, there's such as planned hours, the actual hours, and don't forget the cost per hour. And there's a similar format for the materials. And then there's the overall estimated cost and the actual cost. You might find while you're doing it that you want to add more, such as fixed rates, the travel for the person to actually get to your location, and more. But as of right now, we're going to stick to the basics. Starting off with a blank sheet, I used the list above and typed it into row 2. I left the first row blank so that I could add a header for the labor and the material, and this just helps things to make it look neater. And then on a couple rows below, I added a subtotal section. Now that you have a table, you're ready for the fun part. Formulas. Formulas in Excel are in integral to budget tracking. They automatically calculate total costs and ensure real-time financial oversight. Formulas also enhance efficiency and accuracy. Here's what I like to call the worded version of the formula. I find it hard to understand a mathematical formula with just the cells written in it. I want you to note what each formula is doing, so I wrote it down for you, and I hope that you appreciate it. This is what the actual formulas look like. The highlighted areas show which cells are used within the formula. The Razzle Dazzle. Using colors and organized layouts in Excel sheets significantly improve readability. All the numbers can be a bit dizzying, so color coding sections help quickly identify categories such as labor and materials. The visual distinction aids and overseeing budget components without confusion, allowing for timely interventions if costs exceed expectations. Now I've shown you why to track, what to track, how to set it up, the formulas, implementing the formulas, the little razzle dazzle, but what does this all really look like when you have your graph together? How this Excel sheet works in real time. Let's say it did not take 20 hours. In fact, it took the 10 hours that we had planned for in the first place. Our $30 under budget originally, but now it's 10. Great, we have saved $120. It is now in the green. Let's say that the fascia actually was not $10.98, but ended up being 14 50 per unit. Oh, now we're in the red. So you can see how things update automatically right before your eyes. And this is very beneficial in trying to manage your finances for that project. And there you have it. A very basic but effective use of an Excel sheet for budgeting a construction project. The tools that I use to help me with this is Microsoft Community and Microsoft Support. And of course, I went looking to see what else other construction companies were doing. And an article that I did read was 10 ways to track construction projects costs. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And I hope that you learned a little bit on how to at least start a construction budget sheet and that you can use this in numerous ways and I wish you luck on any of your projects.